morning, brethren. Again, I welcome you all in this live channel as we praise and glorify God in this morning devotional. Again, I welcome you all and please join me again as we seek the Lord in this worship. Our title for our topic this morning is called Heavenly Evaluation. Our key text is centered in Romans 12 verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is reasonable service. There is a measurement of character constantly going in heaven. Adunay kanunay nga pagsukod sa kaniya muadto sa langit. The angels of God are estimating your moral value and ascertaining your needs and bearing your case to God. Do you manifest impatience and utter hasty words? Are you full of self-esteem? Have you lustful thoughts and practices? Are you doing things directly contrary to the purposes of God? Are you robbing your Heavenly Father by withholding your talents and your heart from Him? Why not cease doing this way? Why make a full surrender to God? Iyang buhatod o ihatag kanimo ang iyang kahayag o kalinaw. O kanimo makatilaw sa iyang kaluwasan. Do not any longer bring to God a lame, deceased offering. Your powers, mental and physical, are enfeebled by your own course of transgression. But such an offering is not acceptable to heaven. Why not come and be healed of your infirmities and offer a living sacrifice, holy and without blemish? Have you been robbing God in tithes and offerings? Nangawat ba ka sa Diyos sa ikapulo o sa mga halad? Here, is, here are the instructions for you. Says the Lord, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. That was based on Malachi 3 verse 10. And why not take the Lord at His word? It is our privilege to experience the joy of Christ. It would be difficult matter to convince those who have tasted of the rich knowledge of Christ that he is the root out of dry ground, without form of comeliness, and he may become to our souls the chiefest among ten thousand. So in conclusion, according to John 1 verse 29, let us come to the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Let us, through his merits and his righteousness, obtain a fitting up for heaven. The broken and contrite heart will not despise. So brethren, let us remember to surrender ourselves unto God. Let us not rob God of all the infirmities of all the things, especially uh, the tithes and offerings, especially uh, ang mga bahin sa ginoo kay ato ning ialagad sa, kan sa iyaha because these things will... Uh, give us more blessings than which we gave unto Christ. And as we close this uh, topic, shall we bow down our heads for prayer and let us pray. Great God, merciful Father, Redeemer and Friend, our omnipotent and omniscient God, we come unto you, O Lord, asking for your holy presence to be with us, and asking you, O Lord, especially to help us surrender ourselves unto you and to help us, O Lord, give our faith and give our all unto you, especially in the form of tithes and offerings. 
may you help us in these things, O Lord, that we may continue to praise you, and may you be the center of our relationships. Thank you, O Lord, for all the things that you have done for us, especially for the assurance of hearing and answering our prayers, and especially, O Lord, for uplifting our spirits, O Lord. Thank you for this uh, stable faith that we had in you, and thank you for the help that uh, you have uh, maintained our relationship, O Lord, our connection unto you. Thank you for everything, and forgive us if we fail thee, in thoughts and deeds and in words, this we ask in the loving name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.